Good morning, everybody. I'm Captain Cross. I'm Cole Johnson. And this is your weekly Spartan Live football update here on MCAT on Wake Up Missoula. Sentinel escapes with a 36-35 overtime win at Great Falls this past Friday. Mitch Roberts to Ethan Jones was the magic combination, both, uh, well, in overtime. A uh, four-yard touchdown pass and then the winning two-point conversion on a jump pass from Mitch Roberts to to the tight end, Ethan Jones. Mitch Roberts finishes up 19 of 25 for 206 passing yards, three touchdowns through the air, one on the ground as a rushing touchdown. He also had an interception. Roberts' passing touchdowns went to Ethan Jones, two of them. Connor Crawford caught one. And then the other Sentinel score was a Caden Messer rushing touchdown. Uh, Great Falls, give them credit. They tied the game at 28 on their home field uh, with 17 seconds left in the fourth quarter to force overtime. Um, the Bison, six losses this year. They're one and six now, four by a field goal or less, and three of them by one point. Uh, second week in a row that Sentinel's gone to overtime and the game has been decided by a single point. This time they went home a lot happier uh, with a four and three record. And uh, your initial reaction to this final score, Cole, was redemption. Yeah, it was a redemption game because last week they lost in overtime and they lost by one point. And this time they won in overtime by one point. Um, big play at the end of the game, really. I mean, big call by Dane Oliver going for the win. You know, you're down by one. You lost last week by one. It's like, let's try and win this now. You get the jump past Ethan Jones and it works out and they pull it out by one point. Um, this team is making a lot of strides. Um, they're you know, making some steps forward in terms of winning closer games. They have lost a couple games. Um, they've been involved in four games that are decided by six points or less. Um, they lost um, to Glacier by one point. They lost to Big Sky by six. But you look at Sentinel right now, um, they're playing very well in terms of offensive um, capabilities too. They're moving the ball downfield. Connor Crawford is running the football well. And Mitch Roberts is making plays. I mean, he had three touchdown passes in this game. Um, and he's just, he's getting the ball to everybody as well. So you look at this team right now, they're on the brink of the playoffs. Um, they're going to make the playoffs when the season is over, I believe. And they're just able to build on a lot of momentum uh, for this year and years to come. Um, you know, this team, I mean, Dane Oliver, this is the fourth year that he's been involved with this team. He's coached them. Um, he's doing a great job of building a program. Um, are they going to win the state championship this year? Uh, no, <laughs> they're not at that point yet. But they will, um, you know, in years to come, they will make a push for it. I really do believe that. Um, they're getting better year in and year out, and they're winning more close games. And we talked about how important it is to finish uh, close games, and they were able to finish a game like this at Great Balls. It was a game that they definitely, you know, they could have lost, could have gotten upset, but they were still able to pull it out. It's a big deal to win on the road. They have three road wins this year. They only had one last year. It was kind of a weekend of upsets, so kind of any given Friday type mentality. Billing Senior now 7-0, and though. They made a statement win over Bozeman 43-9 on their home field. Kalispell Glacier, one of those upset losses to CMR, who's now 3-4. and Kalispell Glacier 6-1, and still up there at uh, second or third. Billings West 6-1. Uh, 41 21 win over crosstown rival Skyview as the Falcons continue to struggle with turnovers this season. Bozeman 5 and 2 after the loss to Billing Senior. Helena 4 and 3 after a loss to crosstown rival Capital 3 to nothing. So Capital's defense keeping them on the outside or uh, on the bubble of the playoff picture. Missoula Big Sky, Missoula Sentinel both 4 and 3. Uh, Big Sky finishes up versus Skyview at Capital at Glacier. And after a Missoula Hellgate forfeit was their Friday result. Uh, they take a win from that. Missoula Sentinel um, finishes up at Billings West, which we'll talk about in a second. Then they get the Hellgate, Hellgate forfeit. Then they play Kalispell Flathead, who is one of three teams that have a 3-4 and four record. Flathead looking to make a playoff push at Capital versus Glacier and then at Sentinel to finish it up. A 14-7 win at Butte helps their cause as they try to make a push down the stretch. Um, Great Falls CMR, Helena Capital, both 3-4 and four now. Uh, Missoula Sentinel, yeah, at Billings West is going to be a tough game because Billings West has shown that they're one of the best teams in the state. Missoula Sentinel trying to kind of solidify itself in the playoff picture. Yeah, it's going to be a tough game. 
and it's going to be a real tough game. Uh, you know, six-hour bus ride to play in one of the best teams in the state of Montana. They only have one loss on the year. Bryson Deming, he had three touchdown passes in the first quarter in their last game. They won 38-7, to I think it was. Um, but, yeah, it's going to be a tough one for sure. Um, you have to execute in all phases of the game. When you get turnovers, you have to take advantage of the turnovers. Uh, you know, we saw the Sentinel get three turnovers in the first half against Billings Senior, and they weren't really able to do anything with them. So, I mean, if you get turnovers, you need to turn the turnovers into points. And that's the way Sentinel is going to win this football game. And then they also have to take care of the ball themselves. They might have a shot to take it. Um, but it's going to be a tough one for sure. And Billings West is one of those teams where I see them maybe making that two seed and Glacier dropping down, potentially maybe the three or the four. I mean, Glacier's defense is not in a good place right now. Um, they're giving up a lot of points. Um, they lost a game at home to, at C, to CMR, which I didn't think that they were going to lose. So you look at Glacier, I feel like they're dropping down a little bit. But Billings West is that solid number two. Um, it's going to be a tough game for Sentinel for sure. But Sentinel has the forfeit win against Hellgate the week after that. They got uh, Flathead High uh, for the last home game. Uh, I believe they're going to win that and they're going to make the playoffs. So again, go on the road, um, you know, try to build some momentum. Um, you know, learn from your mistakes and, you know, try to compete in this game. But yeah, I see Billings West definitely coming out on top in this one. Um, but Sentinel, again, like I mentioned before, uh, making some huge strides, especially on the offensive side of the ball. And Dane Oliver, I give him a lot of credit. Like he has his team ready to go. Um, he's ready to pull the trigger on some plays where you don't expect him to pull the trigger on. And he's been able to execute some big time plays in late in games. And it's been paying dividends because they've been winning um, some of those games late. Missoula Sentinel, one of those teams that's very close to even being 6-1. and one. They had their shot against Billings Senior, like you mentioned, had a few opportunities they didn't take, quite take advantage of in the first half to possibly give Senior a scare. So they can play with pretty much anybody in the state of Montana, trying to go on the road with a tough game at Billings West. And then our season finale is October 28th, um, again, with Flathead coming in to take on Missoula Sentinel. But we won't get ahead of ourselves. That's this week on uh, Wake Up Missoula, your Spartan Live football update on MCAT. I'm Kevin Cross. I'm Cole Johnson. And we thank you for watching.